Hey legends, welcome back to another episode of Master Fishing. So I'm just rocked up at my fishing location right now. Uh, it's winter in Melbourne, it's freezing, it's raining. It's about 7 a.m. now. Uh, it took me about an hour and a half to get to this location. And I'm gonna be trying out this new lure. So I'll show you guys once I get out to the beach what it is. And I'll give you a bit more detail on the lure as well. So let's hope, fingers crossed, I can catch some nice fish today. It's blowing a little bit harder than what I thought, and it's going to be rough. I can already hear the waves from here, so it might make it a little bit tough conditions, but you know what? That's not going to scare me, so I'm going to head out there. I'm going to try my luck, and uh, we'll see how we go. So stay tuned, Legends. Hi, Legends. So I've just got to where I'm going to fish. Well, not where exactly I'm going to fish, but I'm at the top here. And what I'm going to show you guys is, because I'm flicking a lure, I'm just wearing my backpack. I've got a 10 foot rod here, so I'm going to be flicking lures only. And I'll show you guys what to look for when you're at a beach that you've never fished. So I've never ever fished this beach. It's blowing, but I can already tell there are a few good gutters. So I'll show you guys. I don't know, it'll be, it might be hard to see, but I'll show you guys what to look for. So these are the areas that I'll be fishing. I look right in front of me. See how there's no whitewash there? That's a big gutter there. Over there to the right, no good. And I can see another big deep gutter there where there's black water, right there. So it's good there. It'll be good right at the front here. I'll be a little bit on the left there as well. Looks like there's deep water. So I'll start from here and I'll work my way to the right, work my way to the left, and yeah, we'll just have to see what happens. So let's go. So these are the new lures that I got guys that I want to bring out hopefully soon. They're 40 grams, so in these conditions you'll need 40 grams. I'm going to be releasing two sizes and two colours. 40 gram and 20 gram for the piers. That's the pilchard colour. It's really reflective and shiny. Ow! And the hooks are sharp. That's the yakka. So I'm going to try this one first. This beautiful looking lure first. And then, yeah, we'll try the next one. So let's go. Let's get it ready. This is the combo I'm using. It's just a 10 foot rod. It's a little bit heavy for what I'm doing, but it's the only rod I got, and it's matched with the Saragosa 10,000. So let's get this ready and we'll see how we go. So we're just going to work our way around the beach. We're going to start here. We're going to go to the right. We're going to fish all the gutters, and hopefully there's a school of salmon, maybe snapper around or something like that. It will be really good. Three times, bit of spit on it. Here we go. Cut the tag end off. We'll go, go for our first cast. First cast, guys. Excited. It's been a while. Look at that deep pull right there. Don't even have to cast that far. Whoa. It's rough. Good distance on that. Bubbles, bubbles. Look at that. The, I haven't seen this before. A lot of bubbles. Let's hope a lot of fish. Whoa, it's like a, pretty sure it's like a rip, 
right in here. So we're going to try around here. Let's go first cast. Let's try into the rip. Seaweed on. Not what I wanted. Oh, yep. Yeah. Fish on. Fish on. Yes. All right. Probably not the size I wanted. But there you go. Look at that, 40 gram lure, catching a salmon. Perfect hook up, now this is a catch and release. Let's watch it go back in. It's been a tough day today, it's the first fish. But hopefully it's a good sign. Let's go little boy. See you later, that is gone. Now look at that guys. Let's go, let's get another one. All right guys, wow, what a session. I, I can't even lift my shoulders up. I got here at 7 a.m. I'll just give the camera a bit of a wipe. Got here at 7, 7 a.m. I fished till about, it's about 4 p.m. now, so I would have fished till about 10 minutes ago. And damn, that was really, really hard work. The salmon were just not on. That happens sometimes. I think the swells were way too big uh, and the wind was pretty high. They predicted it. The wind was okay. It was in my face, but the lures still, I could still peg out the lures pretty far, which is which is good. So it was a good little test of the lures. The action in them is pretty good. So yeah, unfortunately, I only got the one, but you know, that's fishing sometimes. But hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway. If you haven't already liked my Facebook page, give it a like. Uh, these lures will be available on there. They're good for salmon, um, smaller tuna, Spanish mackerels, GTs, you name it. They're, they're pretty good for it. So, so I hope you guys can, you know, show a little bit of support and um, maybe grab a few and try some out and send me some reports if you can. So, hope you guys enjoy this episode anyway. I'm going to go have dinner, shower and crash out. I'm absolutely knackered. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.